Hey there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. In this video, we will going to talk about two different versions of Windows. These both versions are very popular. I'm talking about Windows 11 Pro or Professional and we will compare it with Windows 11 Home, helping you to decide which edition is right for you. If you are in the market for a new PC or you are looking to upgrade your current one, you may be wondering which version you should, should you go with Windows 11 Pro or Windows 11 Home. In this video, we will be looking at differences between both editions and what feature you actually get with each one. So before even we start talking about these both versions, let's talk about the new features with which Windows 11 comes with, which is um, Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Professional. Some of the key new features in Microsoft Windows 11 include Snap Layout, Multiple Desktops, Team Integration, New Widgets um, such as Weather, Traffic and Calendar. You also will find advanced support for gaming and a whole new user experience with Center Taskbar. It's worth noting that all of these features are included in both versions of Windows such that you do not need to worry about let's say you opt for home so for these features at least you do not need to worry or you do not need to upgrade to professional now let's talk about the compatibility and system requirement another thing that we need to keep in mind while deciding uh, windows 11 home and professional is minimum system requirement and let me tell you guys, in this domain as well, you do not need to worry about both these editions have minimum system requirement. So if your PC can run Windows 11 Home, it can also run Windows 11 Professional. Most hardware component and software application designed for Windows 11 are compatible with both Home and Pro version. Let's talk about some of features that are common in both variants. So let's start with user interface first. So both Windows 11 Home and Pro version have a very similar user interface, um, be it the same start menu, taskbar or even settings. Now let's talk about other features where we see the difference between both. So let's start with security feature because this is one of very important feature or important aspect that you should consider while opting any of these two variants. Both home and pro version of Windows 11 come equipped with a variety of security feature. For instance, they both come with Windows Defender, antivirus which safeguard against any kind of malware or other security threats. Additionally, they also include built-in security features such as biometric authentication via Windows Hello, parental control, and firewall. Now let's talk about uh, Microsoft Store and Microsoft Edge. These are also you know, one of common feature that comes with, with either version of Windows. Now Microsoft Store allow user to download and install apps, games, and other software while Microsoft Edge serves as a default web browser for both versions. Although a lot of users um, tend to download any other, I don't want to you know, name it, but maybe uh, with advancement of AI that may pull you back to Microsoft Edge. But leave that aside, now let's talk about difference between both versions. So let's start with expandability and hardware support. Windows 11 Home and Pro version differ in their support for CPU with multiple cores. While both versions support 64 cores in a single CPU, the Pro version has advantage here. It can support up to 2 CPU with maximum of 128 core. This means that the user who requires more processing power and have a need of high performance system may benefit from using pro version of windows 11 as it allows for the use of more powerful hardware 
with support of two CPU, the Pro version can take advantage of multiple processor to increase overall system performance, making it a better choice for users who need to run demanding application or to perform heavy workload. For instance, let's say you want to run a lot of virtual machines, then you can surely go with Windows 11 Pro. But obviously you also require you know, that kind of hardware purchase. In contrast, if I talk about home version of Microsoft Windows 11, um, it is more suitable for general users, gamers who do not require advanced processing power of a high performance system. While it really does not mean that you cannot go high performance with um, you know, Windows Home, but uh, I don't think so, a general user required multiple CPUs. Since Windows Home also support a CPU up to 64 cores. But overall, the support of two CPUs uh, with 128 cores on Pro version of Windows 11 give it an advantage over Home version for the user with demanding computing need. When it comes to memory support, again here as well, Windows 11 Professional has clear advantage over Windows 11 Home. While Windows 11 Home is limited to supporting up to 128GB of RAM, I don't know which gamer requires more than that, but in case of Windows 11 Pro, you can go up to 2TB of RAM support. That is so amazing guys, but who really cares, I don't, since I do not have any kind of task where I need that much amount of RAM. But there might be some supercomputers or workstations where people are using that much amount of RAM. So what does this actually mean? This means that Windows 11 Pro can handle much larger workload and application that require more memory. The ability to support up to 2 terabyte of RAM makes Windows 11 Pro a more suitable choice for professional users and businesses that require high performance computing. Applications such as video editing, 3D rendering and scientific simulation can benefit greatly with increased memory capacity in Windows 11 Pro. Although I believe that um, you know 128 GB is more than enough for video editors, maybe filmmaker may take some advantage out of it, but not us. So it is up to you based on you know hardware support if you go with Windows 11 Pro. Now let's talk about group policy. Okay, so this feature is more used in you know enterprises since this is a very powerful tool in Windows that allow administrators or IT administrator to manage setting and configuration across network of computers, I mean multiple computer in a one go. However, um, there is difference in group policy support between Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro version. The Windows 11 Home actually do not come with group policy support, which means that if you are using Windows 11 Home, in enterprise, the administrator will not have a tool or cannot manage multiple devices in a single go. This limitation is intentional such that Windows 11 Home can only be used in home as well as inside small businesses where you know you only have or you are only managing 8 to 10 computers for, for example. And other hand, obviously, Windows 11 do not come with such limitation. They have full support of group policy. This means that administrator can use group policy to enforce security policies, configure user settings, and perform other management tasks on Pro devices. Now let's talk about Sandbox. This is another key feature which is exclusive for Windows 11 Professional, um, this feature allows user to run virtualized instance of Windows. Okay, so this feature actually allows user to run a virtualized instance of Windows 11 in their operating system. This could be very useful if you want to try um, some sketchy looking app or you know you are opening an attachment that may be malicious or that can harm your system. So by installing that app or opening that app attachment within the sandbox, you can ensure that your PC is not getting affected with any kind of malware or ransomware. Now let's talk about another feature which is again exclusive with Windows 11 Pro which is Remote Desktop. 
Windows 11 Professional also gives you access to remote desktop which allow other PC to connect to your PC. This is useful if you have a desktop at your home with professional install and you want to use your laptop to connect to it while you are on a trip. Because of this, it also makes uh, Windows 11 Pro both considering for home users as well. With Windows 11 Home, you only can connect to the Windows 11 Pro but other PC cannot connect you. But again, there are so many third-party tools like TeamViewer that provide similar functionality. So if this option is really a necessity for you, then you may also think in this way that uh, you can also go with third-party application plus Windows 11 Home if that costs you cheaper. Now let's talk about another feature which is Hyper-V. Hyper-V is built-in feature of Microsoft Windows 11 Pro that allows us to set up virtual machines. This means that you can run a virtual copy of Linux in your window PC or even let's say you want to run an older version of window, you can do that. You can install app on those virtual machines, open attachment and can do virtually everything whatever you can do in your host operating system. While this functionality is really neat, it is worth noting that you can get similar kind of functionality with third party tool for instance VMware Workstation Player or a freeware known as Oracle VirtualBox. Now let's talk about security features that differentiate Microsoft Windows 11 Pro from Windows 11 Home. When it comes to security features, Windows 11 Professional offers some additional features that are not available in Home Edition. The Professional Edition includes features like BitLocker encryption, Windows Information Protection and Windows Hello for Business. If I talk about BitLocker encryption, it is very powerful tool that encrypts your data and protect it from unauthorized access. Whereas if I talk about Windows Information Protection, it enables you to protect your sensitive data from accident leakage by creating policies that control who can access your data. Windows Hello for Business on the other hand is a biometric authentication feature that allows you to log in to your device using your face or fingerprint. On other hand, if I talk about Windows 11 Home, um, Windows 11 Home includes features like Windows Defender, Antivirus and Windows Firewall which are also available in professional edition. However, it does not include advanced features like BitLocker encryption, Windows information protection or Windows Hello for businesses. Now let's talk about one very important aspect of both windows, price. This is again one of the most significant difference between Windows 11 Home and professional. The home edition is more affordable than professional edition, making it ideal choice for those users who do not require advanced feature. And again, we also saw that some of those features can be acquired by third party. For example, in case of virtualization, we have a freeware known as Oracle VirtualBox. Now let's talk about professional edition. The professional edition on other hand is more expensive but provide additional features that are beneficial for those users who need more advanced security features as well as centralized control. In conclusion, we can say that Windows 11 professional offer advanced features that are suitable for business and professional users who require advanced security and management feature. On other hand, we can say Windows 11 Home is suitable for personal users who require basic features and do not need advanced security or management feature. So before opting either of these variants, it is very essential to check for your specific need. If you are a personal user, the Home Edition might be sufficient for your need. However, if you are a business or professional user, then professional edition could be better choice for you. Ultimately, the choice between two editions depends on your own individual need and your budget. And if you have any kind of myth that if you're going to run game in Windows 11 Pro, it will run better, then that's not the case.
So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for such kind of video. And if you have got any kind of doubts or question in your mind, then feel free to ask me in comment down below. I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this and I will catch you soon in my next one. Till then take care and bye bye.